rock star in this life Gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it, no cap Only got one so you better go live it up Cash in the bag Stadium pack Baby, I'm bad Baby, I'm bad What's good, you guys? It's your girl, CC, a.k.a. Cecilia Robinson, a.k.a. CC, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need you guys to like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you know when I'm coming on. To my new subs, I thank you guys so much for choosing me. To my old subs, thank you guys for hanging in there with me. My videos are done in chronological order, so you can always go back and bring yourself up to speed. For those of you who don't know me, I was told on, I was indicted, and I was convicted of a bunch of felonies. Uh, my lead charges was corrupt organization and conspiracy. And right now, I'm talking about being at the Allegheny County Jail, aka the ACJ, I'm on EPOD. Now, for weeks, you guys have been listening to me talk about how the females that I was locked up with, a lot of them was attracted to me. A lot of them thought I was butchy. Um, a lot of them thought I looked like Kevin Gates. You know, I had Big Emma. Currently, at the moment, I was dating white girl Sam. And can't forget about me flirting and everything with Kia. And I've had my fair share of flings with these chicks. Now, don't get me wrong, because there's nothing more beautiful than a female to me. I feel like women are um, the most precious gift you know on this earth they're just beautiful to me but listen i am a woman <laughs> i am a whole woman you know i'm a strong woman but i like men you know i would take a female any day i like to look at them i would like to primp them and i like to pat them you know i like to kiss them nice breasts nice fat ass nice thighs you know majority of them smell good but i like dick <laughs> you know i like i like penis i like wee wee i like dingling you know i like to be nailed to the fucking cross that's that's what i like you know <laughs> I, I i like that i love my piece of man there isn't a female created on this earth that can fuck me like a man can and i know this you know, and I got to be honest with you. I've never been fucked with a dildo. I don't see myself um, allowing a chick to, to that. I want to, if I want to be with a girl, I want to be with a girl. I don't want you to whip your dick out your bag and put it on me. You know, I don't want you to put your, your, your dildo on my lips and say, um, you know, um, give it to me and all this other shit. Because me sucking a plastic dick, I don't understand what it would do for you. You know, I, I I just feel like it's disrespectful. Maybe that's just me. You know, but you're not going to rub no rubber dick across my face or tell me to suck the tip of a rub, rubber dick. Just not going to happen. Now, when I was locked up, I, I, I got a chance to see um, this CO that I was smitten with. You know, the first time I ever seen him, he came onto my pie and he was with some other CO's. They was getting ready to extract an another female inmate out of her cell now let me tell you about this female inmate the bitch was like five nine you know i can't tell you a name of her so let's just call call her buff bitch you know what i'm saying the bitch was built like the stay puff marshmallow man solid you know when she walked she waddled um the bitch was so big she couldn't put her arms down and i when i say she was solid she was solid she looked like one of those old country fed ass bitches you know what i'm saying one of the bitches like to walk around barefoot and would take off and tackle a fucking football player um her eyes was already always bucked and shit like this and her hair was like red um and she used to keep it pulled back off her, her head the bitch looked crazy as hell now this one day when this particular day that I'm speaking of when the CEO went around for count this chick was naked now one of the rules is when it's count time you are to be standing fully clothed in your proper uniform your MA uniform 
and you to be you're to be quiet so this, the the CEOs can get they um they count right. But when a CEO went around to do count, this bitch was asshole naked. You know what I'm saying? So when the CEO asked her, "What the fuck is your problem?" You know you're not, you're not properly dressed. You can get rolled up or whatever. The bitch start growling. You know what I'm saying? Like she's a fucking animal. Now, mind you, I told you the bitch couldn't put her arm down and her hands and shit is little. She has some little fucking hands like somebody had took the hands off a dial and put it on a fucking bear. You know? So I don't know what the sight was when the CO seen it, but I'm pretty sure that's what the fuck it looked like. But the bitch was naked. So when she growled at the CO, the CO called for fucking backup. You know, we got an issue up here. Everybody suit up. Now when motherfuckers come up, when the other COs come up the stairs to extract this fucking girl up out of her cell, you know what I'm saying? I get a glimpse of this CO. He was so fucking fast for me. Now everybody know, everybody who know me, no, I love my black men. We know I love my black men. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing more great on this earth than a black man. But that white motherfucker, <laughs> that dude, hey, I've never seen one made like him. You know what I'm saying? He he low key look like Eddie Hearn to me. If you don't know who Eddie Hearn is, he's a, a boxing promoter. But he looked like Eddie Hearn to me. Dude was fine as fuck. And when I, he had on his uniform, but I could see the tattoos on his neck and shit. That's right up my motherfucking alley. You know what I'm saying? Motorcycle game material. That's right up my alley. So he looking around the pot. He, you know, getting his shit together, getting ready to put on his, his helmet or whatever the fuck they put on. But he look up and me and him make eye contact. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody that's standing in their fucking doors, I know I seen this man looking at me. You know, my little coochie got wet right then and now. So they go upstairs, you can hear the bitch talking about, you never take me alive! Like she Tupac and shit. And they go in there and snatch that bitch up out of there. You know, now one of the things that um you're not supposed to do, CEOs is not supposed to do, is touch a, a female inmate, or any inmate for that matter, when they're naked. Quite naturally, when an inmate take off all their fucking clothes and they being uh, combative with a CO, they really want a problem. So you have to handle them with special care so you won't get a prayer. You know what I'm saying? Um, or you won't, people can't say you uh, sexually assaulted them. You know? All right, cool. They get up out the cell and they take her ass on. You know? I don't know if the bitch was off her meds or whatever, but it don't even matter. Now, I kept dude in my head because, listen... I seen a few little boys while I was over there, you know, when I had went up to the infirmary and shit, but I haven't seen a motherfucking man, not like him. Now, the next day, they asked for volunteers to go down to the staff lounge. They needed dishwashers, and they needed cooks and shit. Okay, cool. I'm going to take my ass down there. I'm going to do the dishwasher. Now, one of the best ways to see all the staff that's inside that jail is to work downstairs in that fucking staff kitchen. You know what I'm saying? When you're the dishwasher, motherfuckers got to bring their trays up there. Everybody going to eat at the jail, you know? So, everybody, all staff eat in that fucking cafeteria. So, you get a chance to see everybody. Now, I'm going to wash my dishes and put my trays through. And I'm waiting on my next load of trays to come. So, I'm standing in the doorway. Now, the doorway is in between the dishwashing room and in between the staff kitchen so i'm standing there so the co's is you know piling me in for them and they laugh so they can get in the line and get their meal or tell the cooks what they want to eat and in walks my man you know what i'm saying i'm gonna call him my man you know i'm just gonna call him my man and i see him and i'm talking about i know i had a dumb ass smirk on my face i know i had to you know i was excited bashful blushing whatever the fuck you want to say i'm looking at him he see me right so he come over to me he say what's your name i say robinson i can't say cc or pool i can't say none of this shit i gotta i gotta introduce myself as the fucking inmate you know what i'm saying i'm robinson he say, hmm, you got some really dope um, tattoos. I'm talking about sound like yours too. Now at this point in time, he got on a short sleeve shirt so I could see all the tattoos on his arm, on his neck and everything. Now he got this like this little wild look in his eyes and I'm just thinking like, boy, I will fuck the shit out of your face. I promise you I was. So he tell me, he say, well, you know, I'll see you around. I'll probably be up on your unit later on tonight. I say, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't thinking shit of it. Now, listen, I go back up to the unit. Now, I'm, I'm talking about I'm, I really have a crush on this dude. You know, I don't even know this CEO fucking name. I really, really have a crush on this dude. I go back up to the unit and 
Mad you. He done told me he gonna be up on my unit tonight. You know what I'm saying? Now, he ain't tell nobody else that he gonna be up on the unit tonight. But he tell me. So, in my head, he, it's like, bitch, he coming to get some pussy. You know, in my head. Now, this man ain't said shit about it. See, this is what's wrong with us dumbass females. This man ain't said shit about nothing. So, I tell, I tell white girl Sam, like, she all happy to see me and everything. <laughs> She all happy to see me and everything, you know, when I come back upstairs. So I tell her, I say, look, I say, uh, one of these COs is coming up here tonight. I say, he gonna come and see me. I said, so if you hear some shit going on in my room, just know I'm fucking, I'm okay. Don't be calling my fucking name all night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't be calling me. I'm grown. I don't need you checking on me. Now, I done got so fascinated with the idea of this fucking CEO who ain't thought three fucking thoughts about my raggedy ass coming upstairs. I just done created a whole situation in my fucking head that this man is coming up there to give me some dick. Listen, I go get in the shower and shit, you know. I go up to my cell. I ain't want to be bothered. I had to go up to my cell and get prepared. Baby, I'm in my cell stretching and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I ain't had nothing in a while. I'm stretching and shit. All I'm doing are mouth exercises. I done made fucking knee pads out of my socks. I'm talking about I'm going all out. I'm looking at my shadow on the wall trying to see how far I can, you know, arch my back and shit. Trying to see if my flat ass look a little fatter on the wall. I mean, I'm... I'm going all out. Mind you, this man ain't thought nothing about my ass. Ain't thought nothing about my ass. It's just me. I done created this situation in my head. Listen, I'm I'm time is winding down. Time is winding down. You know, they they getting ready to lock into the rooms. Mind you, I ain't went back out because I don't want to fuck up my shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking back and forth to my cell door doing um I'm doing stretches and shit. I'm doing launches and, and dips and shit. You know, getting my thighs and shit um, together. Look, they do count. You know, the CEO who was there, she, she finna leave out. Just to show shit state, dude bring his ass in. Now, when the CEO say, I'll be back, we know somebody else is coming on the pie. You know what I'm saying? I get up, I run to the door. So I see him. You know what I'm saying? I see him and I'm like, shit. I'm like, this my chance. <laughs> I'm like, this my chance. Baby, listen. I, I I go over there. I take out my, my uniform pants and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got my little t-shirt. Got my t-shirt. Got my I got my, my little knee pads out of made ready over there. I know this man is finna come up there and give me all kind of dick. I just know this. That motherfucker came up there to that door. I ain't having no clothes. He Robinson. Put on... <laughs> Robinson, put on some clothes. You got a mail on the unit. <laughs> I was talking about I was hurt. <laughs> I was fucking hurt because I knew, I knew in my head, I knew in my mind, he was going to come blow my back out. He said, Robinson, put on some clothes. You got mail on the unit. You know what I'm saying? He could have rolled my ass up. He really could have rolled my ass up because it's like I'm trying to get him in trouble. So he step away from the door, go ahead and do his rounds or whatever. But he come back a few minutes later. Now when he came back, I done put my pants on, right? So he said, like, Robinson, I come back to the door. You know what I'm saying? And I'm standing there looking like a fucking puppy looking at their owner on the other side. And they finna open the door. This motherfucker raise up his shirt and show me a tattoo on his side. He, I just got another tattoo yesterday, you know? And all this other shit. Boy, I don't give no fuck about your motherfucking tattoo. My coochie throbbing. You know what I'm saying? I thought you was finna deliver some dick. You wanna deliver the news about your motherfucking tattoo? I'm not your tattoo buddy. You know what I'm saying? Now, normally I'm excited about tattoos, but when he did that shit, boy, fuck your tattoos. You know, fuck your tattoos. I don't wanna hear this. So then, <laughs> so then he tell me, he say, you look disappointed. He knew, like he knew, like he knew. He already knew what I was thinking. And just to think of it like right now, how many other bitches this nigga done did this to? You know what I'm saying? I done went all outside my motherfucking race for your ass. I done, I done did all this. I done, I done got my coochie all together and shit. You know what I'm saying? I done shaved my shit with them dull ass razors preparing for your ass. And you knew you weren't finna give me no dick. You knew it. He ain't even have to tell me he was coming up to the unit later on that night. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm, I'm just saying, this, this is the shit I went through. And I put myself through this shit because I ain't had no business trying to fuck with that man. And with that, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. Stop, hey, to you females, stop trying to force some shit on a dude. He, he don't be wanting that shit. And y'all be smooth.